course, it only come up with snacks. This is Honey Buns. Happy belated New Year's and I'm so sorry I went MIA throughout December. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys, but I decided to take one month off just to relax and... I decided to take one month off just to relax and just enjoy my break and time off of school. And yeah, I have a lot of things to tell you guys and this one here is one of them. I recorded a video during December about my new pet rabbit, Jack, and I will post that sometime perhaps this month or into February. I have a couple videos already lined up and I hope you guys enjoy them. <laughs> This is actually a pretty spontaneous video, so I don't really have anything planned. But maybe... But perhaps do like... A New Year's resolution. Exactly, so... No. No. Ren Ren. Ren Ren. Where was I? I'm sorry. I get this. I get distracted by this little rat here. He is a troublemaker and he lives up to his name, which is Jack. I will post a vlog about how I got this rabbit and the seven things I learned about him soon. So keep your eyes open for that. And because this video is spontaneous, I actually really don't have anything pre-planned before this. I didn't even write a script. Nothing. This is just... Huh. And I have a feeling this is going to take a lot to edit too. So staying committed to my 7 things idea, I think I'll call this video 7 things to reflect on in 2016 and ending it with my 2017 New Year's resolution. If you guys have watched my 7 things I'm grateful for back in um, Thanksgiving, I talked about several things that happened during 2016. There were a lot of major bad things that happened, so if you guys have watched that, I think you can get a picture of what I will be speaking about today. Number one, in 2016, I am grateful for the struggles I was put into. I believe that things happen for a reason, and I strongly believe also that God puts them in your way because He knows and believes that you can handle them. I really thought that God had overestimated me as a person because 2016 brought out a lot of flaws in me. It brought out so many things that I am not proud of to be as a person. I've made so many mistakes. I've, I've acted in ways that I didn't even know myself anymore. But in the end, they did bring me a lot of good lessons, I suppose. They helped keep me in check, they brought me to be grateful for the things I have. It opened my eyes to a lot of things. Majority of the people don't understand what they're grateful for until it's taken away from them. So to be put into that situation where a lot of things were going downhill and I was losing a lot of important things to me, it made me open my eyes and realize I should be more grateful to the things I have rather than taking them for granted. Like every once in a while, always remember to just be grateful for what you have. And in my case, they were my parents, it was my relationship, they were my friends, and more importantly, it was being grateful, just being happy, being in my own skin. Because in 2016, I really thought I lost myself this year, and I'm just grateful that I have all these things back to me, I have all these things to reflect on and appreciate. I didn't know what I had until like crap happened. Number two for all the new experiences I've been through. 
I feel like this is the most I've grown as a person. Also felt like I was independent. I just felt like I was free for once. Number three, I think it's being patient. I really lacked a lot of patience. Most especially because I was impatient with where my life was going. I really lacked timing. I wasn't I was never good at waiting. Please stop. It feels like I was back to being that 10 year old who was just too impatient to grow up too fast. And now that I'm here, I feel like I want to go back in time. I'm also impatient for things to happen. Like I really wanted to know that I wanted things to go my way. Number four, I like to be in control of a lot of things, especially with things going on with my life and how I want it to be laid out. I got easily frustrated and annoyed when things didn't turn out the way I had hoped and it would actually leave me kind of upset as well like I'm aware that a lot of things don't happen the way that you hope it would be but it just frustrated me more like tying back into number three that I just wanna I wanted things to happen like now like do it my way if it doesn't happen this way then what am I gonna do I just wasn't in control last year and that was probably the most frustrating thing at this point I kind of realized that I should just go with the flow and also tying it into number one that things happen for a reason so just hang in there and just wait do what you can do what you need to do but if something's gonna happen it will happen just let's just be okay are we on number five number five the best thing that ever happened to me is when things were going really downhill for me, I actually fell into depression. There was a time during spring semester that I refused to go to school for a full week just because I just didn't have the strength to. I was so negative about myself and my life. I just had no energy to do anything. The fact that I felt like I wasn't giving enough or that I wasn't doing the best that I could really affected me. I felt like I was hopeless, that I wasn't able to do anything, especially with my life being out of control, that I can't even handle my relationship, that I can't even get my job, all that stuff. So with all those things getting into me, getting into my head and affecting me a lot, I thought I would shift my attention <laughs> to finding something else. I would shift my attention to something positive, such as being a rabbit. Just shifting my attention to Jack. Just playing the role as like a mom to this rabbit, it's like, it took a lot of that sad weight off of me. It was actually a really good decision to get him because he brought out the best of me. I saw myself as being more responsible, I had more of a reason to get up in the morning because if I didn't, he would feed my rabbit. And he taught me to be patient. Just from watching him, it makes me want to be curious with my own life too. Like, what is gonna happen in my life, what's gonna be there, if it works or if it doesn't, if it hurts me or if it's good. I just wanna stay curious. I just wanna be excited for everything new. And I realized that part of me disappeared throughout 2016 that I was just afraid of what was coming to me, what was the unknown. I should just stay curious, be happy with the result, whether it's good or bad but never stop even if it hurts you. Just like Jack, he doesn't care that if bad things happen, he, he doesn't stop, he still stays curious. Number six, I realized I had a really closed heart throughout 2016. The more things built up, the more I wanted to close myself from people. I kind of developed this bitterness in my heart and in my head where I constantly felt like I was out of the crowd. I felt like I could not belong in anything or that my words were not important for any reason and I just felt like 2016 I was just so angry so mad so sad I pity myself in 2016 I was so I guess overprotective about myself that I just neglected those who really cared around me I thought I knew what was best for myself. I was blind to my own fears, them coming true. I made more mistakes than I should have. 
And it's also because of that that Brett just kept coming back to me. I thought I've been through the past I couldn't let go of, and it was just draining me. It's like I chose to play victim instead of being a survivor. That really disappointed me about myself in 2016. And I made it my goal to do my best and overcome all these stuff. I don't know, I just felt like I was a really dark person. <laughs> like, to the extreme dark. It was pretty bad. But also with that bad, I did do my best to bring out the best of me, which is finding a new hobby, trying to treat myself better, reflecting on a lot of things. So I really wanted- I was desperate to be happy again, so I tried whatever it took. Because too many bad things were happening and I just- I felt like I was more sad than I've ever been in my life. And also because of that, I tried my best to be more open-hearted, open-minded too. I made it my goal that I would try to be happy again, which is also the reason why I got Jack, because he does make me happy. Money, so bunny. Love you. Good boy. Number seven, I saved the best for last. And that is... To embrace things, both good and bad, that happen to you. The decisions you make in life should be the ones you don't regret on. Whether it's repeating the same mistake or walking into the same path again in your life, I just hope that whichever decision you choose is the one you won't regret. Because there is no true right or wrong mistakes in your life. Because regardless of your answer, you're going to learn something out of it. Most especially when it's something bad. Because it is during those bad moments, those bad times, that you realize things that you should be grateful for happening. That you learn a life lesson that you're never going to forget. And it will probably be something that will help you mature as a person. You need both the good and the bad to grow as a person. If you continuously get keep getting good things that happen in your life, you're never going to amount to anything. You're never going to know that you, you can become a better person than what you already are. You can be greater than that. You can have more knowledge than that. You can be more mature than that. I think that's one of the things you learn in life, is that you never stop learning. New things, old things, being reminded of things you already know. These are the things I learned in 2016 and have reflected on. So closing this video is my 2017 resolution. This year, my goal is to make my dreams into a reality. I am honestly excited for 2017 because there are so many plans that's going to happen. I feel like things are starting to get better. And I really hope so. I also hope you guys will have a better year this year. And I hope that whatever your dreams and your goals are will come true this year as well. So work hard, be patient, and always walk away with an open mind and an open heart for everyone around you, I guess. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!